When temperatures are all over the place like they've been this week, the roads really don't like it. And as we look at sub freezing temps tonight, you can almost hear the potholes a poppin'. Yeah, you can feel them too. And that's not all. Chris Hoffman shows us how these cold temperatures can also cause delays for road construction crews. During the spring, it's not just flowers that are blooming, it's also potholes. Take a look at 14th Street here. You got one, two, three, four, about five or so. And according to PennDOT, sometimes these potholes are replaced and fixed, but because the temperature's going up and down, they can quickly reform. Now, 14th is a Pittsburgh Public Works issue, and the weather creates a mess for them as well. They are in their milling and paving season, but Mother Nature sometimes throws them a curveball. We, we've already had some projects uh, get a little uh, delayed in that process. The city says this weather is nothing new and something road crews expect. They plan to repair about 40 miles of roads this summer. The delays uh, don't catch us by surprise. It's something that's planned into our work when we're thinking about how we're going to do the, the paving and the milling and the repairs. PennDOT says just like you had to put the lawnmower away for the snowblower, with some of this recent weather, they too have had to dig out the plows when they have hoped to put them away. This takes away from getting other needs addressed. Some of our operations are weather sensitive, so whether it's too cold or whether we're getting precipitation, we may not be able to perform some key operations until we get the right weather. Just like the city, they know to expect the unexpected. They also build in weather delays to their road work. We always like to accomplish the most we possibly can, so we always consider it a delay, but we do, we do account for it when we're planning our work. PennDOT is still using cold patch to quickly fill holes along major arteries like the parkways. They say about now is when they do switch to more permanent fixes and they expect to start those in the coming weeks. We need the temperatures to make the fix and we also need the asphalt plants to be producing the hot mix in order for us to make the, the fix. And for the marathon runners this weekend, the city has spent the last couple weeks making sure the route is not full of hazards. To make sure that we're keeping those those participants and those runners and everybody going out to the marathon this, this weekend safe. Now, both the city and PennDOT say if you see a pothole, the best thing to do is report it so they can try to fix it as soon as possible. Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.